Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to talk about how to create free region, free pattern. Before we using the free region, we need to set up the free pattern here. This is a setting and this is applicate applicable for working layout. It is similar to AutoCAD hash. Who familiar with AutoCAD that easy to understand? Who doesn't familiar with AutoCAD? Do not worry about it i will explain to you how okay let's go the free region is where is that that is in on the other hand we call it is it the detail 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 item <coughs> the detail item is under the annotate we go into the annotate and here the region just is a region under 2024 rebate but if you want to see the full, full name in here, the free region, there's a free region you apply on it, you can work on 2D plan. Is it doesn't it doesn't allow you to work on 3D view? Please take note about this. Okay. Before we created the use, look at this property box. He allow you to create a diagonal cross hash. This cross hash, where the cross hash and here this is the option eh? current uh, created the the property is a diagonal hash and diagonal down okay let's we create a one for example here i will create it here this is the free region diagonal cross hash diagonal cross hash here if you want to change to the another family here is a diagonal down this is how the created okay where it come from this so we need to find out where is it if you do not figure out so where is the location is going to the manage and down arrow additional setting and look for here fail button this is a fail button right now what you created the name is diagonal down so we look at on here the fail button look for the diagonal down on the create here just like this one this one okay if you want to create your own shape so you are, you can create it in here and look at it here it's a new free pattern and you want to delete it just you delete it okay we are going to create it right now here so whatever you want to create it and just give me the name so i think i will give you the cross uh something like a uh, uh, ceiling ceiling pattern uh rectangular Rectangular shape the ceiling, but uh, ceiling pattern so I mean, easy to understand that. So that the ceiling pattern is I want to create it is like uh, what it is like the pattern is diagonal shape that will be the cross hash here. There's no parallel uh, par parallel line here. I just want to create it here. It's like okay ten uh ten mm, and this will be ninety degree. This will be ten mm. Okay, that's something like that. If we hash on this orient to view if you are orient orient to rotating something he will be following you uh, based on your rotation but it's the same direction it's the same thing but if you want to align with this element uh, uh, it's like you just imagine you want to align with a wall or just you using this way if you don't want to do this okay just we are created for this training I will using orient to view just okay now you created this ceiling ceiling pattern okay just click okay you select over there going to the edit type you duplicate the item giving the name the ceiling pattern ceiling pattern then what you created in earlier is a ceiling pattern we need to look for this and just type the C easy to find out just okay just okay and it, it's coming back here if you want to apply the color it's like okay I'll give you the red color in here just okay look over this okay but inside you will see this is the ceiling pattern how you created in the setting is a free pattern but if you want to uh, don't want to see the boundary line what you need to do is at the boundary you just let this a boundary line give it the name choose invisible line just like this if you want to uh, 
uh, actually I think better you choose to this line and thin line or red color line okay thin line the black color if you want to the red color is the boundary there you need to create lines die do you remember the previous video that I explained to you how to create the line pattern okay for now we are going to using the one is line line right okay okay just okay slap over this and you slap over all look for this just like this so now you created this hash color so usually where you are uh, usually we are using apply on the sheet on the 2d plan or 2d session something that okay we are going to cut the cross section here for example this guy we need to cross the session we look over this guy okay this is the one I just want to add on the add shape so we are calling this the going to annotate and look for the free region click over this to giving you just catch over this guy okay. just over this guy I don't want to see this a boundary line I just apply to invisible line into the drawing plan but we use we want the at hash so duplicate it going to the activation at shape look for at click ok just apply this apply ok look over here just something like this you are applying into uh, the short drawing or in any presentation is something you want to use in this hash color that's just applying this this is an overlaying here something that if you want to graphic override in here the transparency or something that you can apply on this the behind element you can even see that one this is applying the transparency I think that another one you need to give it a try for what you wanted to create it right now I explained to you about how to create a pattern in your own design in all your idea then you are created here just only allow you to create the parallel line and cross hash something that if you want to with a three meter always remember in the rebate that whatever you set at the uh, set at the dimension anything is only associated on this the scale if you scale the 100 it's time to uh, how many times he working with this the pattern and based on the scale based on you set at this a dimension he working on this based on this the scale that will be the 3 mm one is 250 that you can get it the 3mm but in your working view it's too small too close it's something that when you print definitely that is a 3mm you can measure it definitely 3mm he uh, he associated with this scale that is repeat work okay just like you need to create the hash pattern and then you go into the free region in here whatever the shape you can apply on this just like over this guy and you are applying on solid black or solid black is that that mean okay I will explain to you that is he choosing the solid fade if you want to change the color in here you can apply this color but make sure this color is you, you must do give it a name don't use it the black it must be the black if you want the color just give it a color here you want to change the solid red color and you apply the red color make sure you must rename it like red that's it I think you can able to apply in your project in your uh, in your short drawing in your presentation this is the very first way to use a uh, modification in the 2d documentation okay guys i hope this is good enough for you to understand about fail pattern and fail region so tomorrow i will give it to you 
quick one is marking region how is useful how very useful it is I will explain to you in another day okay guys see you tomorrow make sure you subscribe my channel and watch my video and thumbs up if you want to know something else comment down below if you thought something you email to me I will cover to you as soon as I can bye bye